Welcome back to my channel everyone. We are now going to go over Played Lately. It's a thing that I do on my channel, Played Lately. I'm gonna start with some gifts that I got for Christmas and this package right here. Uh, I find it really funny. I was so surprised when I opened this. This is my Christmas present from Ishaman to me and I wanted from him, like I said earlier in another video, I wanted Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch because it is simply a Switch game that I never picked up myself. So it was perfect to, you know, want that for Christmas. But he did this. He made a freaking diorama. So when I open it, I see the mountain with the egg on, I see a link, and I see down here the game. I found it to be genius. Loved it. And um, I wanted to make this box immortal by showing it off in a video properly. And he wasn't even happy about it, but I love it. Super cute. Thank you so much, Isha man. There's also a lot of... He always does funny things for Christmas and birthday. Always. And uh, if you look closely around on my channel, you would know that. This video is so kindly sponsored by my favorite Nintendo Switch accessories brand. It is a brand that was found through a Discord member, told then to Tiny Hats and then told to me. So this is a brand that I found organically, let's say. What I'm talking about is the new Neo Grip from Skull & Co. The best grip in the world! Guys, I have tried several grips and none of them even come close to the quality and comfortability, let's say, that the Neo Grip from Skull & Co has. They have truly made such a good product. I can so recommend this product. And it comes with a bag and the bag fits with the entire thing in it. This is also a dockable switch grip. You don't have to take the entire grip off. And like I've always been saying, I can't play on a naked switch. It feels weird, I need a grip. And this is the best grip. I don't use any other grips than this one in this style. You can also change out these actual grips to a smaller one. It comes in several different colors. You can order these from their website. You can check out my special magic link down below in the top of the description and in the top pinned comment. If there was anything that I highly super much recommended for your Switch, I, f I feel like this is essential. It is the highest quality. It is the grip. I am 100% behind this grip. It is a 10 out of 10 grip. The Neo Grip from Skull & Co. I'm such a big fan. <laughs> Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now check out the link down below if you decide to pick it up. <laughs> Highly recommend. Now I want to talk briefly about this game. This game happened to be my Christmas game. So I played this a ton. First impressions, I like it. I like the graphics because I read up online a bunch of reviews. People are saying that they don't like the graphics, they are too plasticky. I couldn't disagree more. I don't find the graphics to be plasticky. I find them to be perfect, like enjoyable, fun and pretty to look at. Now there are a few gripes <laughs> with this game. And that is, um, when you move around, there is a sort of blur on the top and the bottom of the screen sometimes. I don't know why they did that. That I find that to be unnecessary. Another thing, um, and I think I, I have heard about this before playing it, but I immediately thought about it when I played it, is that you can't move around completely freely. It is a diagonal sort of grid system that you walk around on, sort of. I mean, the movement of the character, the Link. And lastly, the bad thing, I guess. Uh, it does have still frame drop issues. I know people on Discord, when I was playing this game, they asked me, does it still have frame drops? Or did they patch that? Because this is an older game. 2017 game, I think. Uh, no, they haven't patched that. It is still uh, some frame drops when you're up there by the swamp area. I didn't find it too game breaking, but and it felt like it was only there. Uh, nowhere else on the map. 
And speaking of the map, I'm loving the new map of this game. It is so detailed, you can zoom in and out, you can see where you have collected pieces of heart, you can see where you have collected seashells. And that is some of the biggest addictions with this game, collecting the seashells. Later in the game, when you have collected, uh, I don't know, an amount of seashells, she sells the seashells on the seafloor, never mind. You then get some sort of skill that will give you some hint when you are nearby a seashell. And that makes it fun to walk all over this island all over again. So what I do in this game, I walk around the island all the time aimlessly and fun funnily. <laughs> What? I'm just having fun with the game and the dungeons are exciting, pretty easy, straightforward. Some of the bosses can be a tiny, tiny bit uh, difficult, but nothing too, too difficult. Nothing too difficult. I would recommend this game to just about anyone, especially people that are already interested uh, in or fan of The Legend of Zelda. It is an old classic game from the Game Boy. This is even a remake. This is a remake of the remake of the original game. <laughs> the, Nintendo truly loves this game and uh, I do too. Now this is uh, Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. It added like a photograph sort of mm, side quest, which isn't in this game by the way, because I remember that was in the DX version. Mm but it isn't in this one. But other than that, they also added some new things in the Switch remake. And that is that you can make your own dungeons, which I don't hate it. It also works with some amiibos, but I don't have many amiibos. I think I have three or four amiibos. <laughs> I never got on the amiibo hype train. That was a really big train, just passed me by. But do I recommend this game? Yes, because I'm having such a fun time. I've had such a fun time with it. I am now at um, the last dungeon, I think. I just have to, you know, step into the game and finish it up, wrap things up, and then uh, collect the rest of the seashells and the remainder of the pieces of hearts. And can I justify the price? It is a Nintendo title and you can clearly feel, feel it in your heart and soul uh, when you are playing a Nintendo first party game compared to when you're playing something third party, indie, something. It just feels way more quality, it's much more polished except for the frame drops, which is very unusual for Nintendo to allow frame drops to happen and just be a thing in a, one of their games. Anyways, there's a bunch of fun tools to use. You can jump, you have the hook shot, you have bombs, arrows. I highly recommend it. This is a game now that I will always remember as uh, my Christmas 2021 game. <laughs> this is an inside joke again. I mean, Isha man, he goes wild <laughs> in the gifts that he gives me. He always does these funny things. Thank you so much, Isha man. I hope you watch this video this time. You know, Ishaman, the guy that I live with and has been with for eight years this year. We are getting married this year. <laughs> I don't think he watches my videos, uh, but this one I'm gonna force him to watch it. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun, good. Another gift that I got is a letter from Happy console gamer and family. How cute is this? He totally drew this. It's Shin Megami Tensei drawing. Happy console gamer. He has been my biggest inspiration for this entire channel for all the years. I think I discovered his channel in like 2012, 13. I've been following him for so many years. And I'm so, I was so shocked and so happy. Thank you so much for the Christmas letter. It was beautiful. It has a little slime. Mm -hmm. A little slimy time. Really good. I also sent like Christmas gifts over to him and wife and kid. Uh, Christmas stuff. I, you know, I'm the crazy Norwegian aunt. Uh, so I like to think. What else have I been playing? Uh, truthfully, like off script. I have been playing uh, still Atelier Sophie, the first one, to get ready to the first, the, se the second one, which is coming, which is so coming. It's the game that I talked about in my previous video. 
if you didn't watch my previous video, please watch my previous videos. Like, watch all of my videos. I'm so happy when I see someone saying to me on Instagram or Twitter or something, they're saying to me, I found your channel recently and I have been binge watching your channel. That, that is like a dream to hear. It is the best thing that I can hear. And yeah, speaking of listening, the podcast is going so great. It is so fun. The podcast that me and Tiny Hats has made. And now I have a new microphone. Uh, so the first three episodes of the disc Discord <laughs> of the Discord uh, of the podcast Disc Disc. Somewhat terrible microphone going on, but I am enjoying those videos so much. Videos? Oh my god! I mean podcast episodes. It's such a new medium to me that I'm not used to the new terms. It's episodes. So welcome back to another episode. Episode and episode. Or episode. Episode. And today... <clears throat> episode. So yeah, uh, fun. And we are creating one new episode every week. Preferably Tuesdays or Wednesdays. We wear pink on Wednesdays. I think it is such a fun thing. I am thinking about the podcast all the time. It's like something new has happened in my life. It is the 2022 uh, New Year's resolution also to continue the podcast. Such fun times. And I hope you want to listen to it. It is now out on Spotify and Apple. The Apple universe. And it is also on YouTube for whichever person want to listen to it on YouTube but so we are available in most places disky disk it is the name that we have settled with uh, I was uh, sort of thinking do we have to rebrand is it a weird name but then again this channel has a weird name so I mean it only fits the theme I'm so gonna paint uh, this finished today with some I don't know silver or gold paint to make this show off a bit more because right now it doesn't really show on video too much. Uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I've also decided to show off this game controller for the Nintendo Switch by GameSeer. Thank you so much for sending this to me. It is very suitable for smaller hands like mine. GameSeer, everyone. I think I will just end the video by showing off another thing that I recently picked up. And it is a limited edition again from ID Factory. And this time, it comes in this box. It has a plushie, which I don't really care for. I don't care about plushies. It's nice, I guess. It's a pudding. It comes with a deck of cards. And here is the game. Super Neptunia RPG for the PS4. So this is the limited edition of Super Neptunia RPG. The game that I have not been kind with on my channel earlier have said that I didn't get into it. I have said several times that it isn't the best game. I don't get it. I feel it's weird. It's difficult to navigate around on the maps. I've said all sorts of bad things, but <laughs> the limited edition of this game is so cute. No one does limited editions like ID Factory, I feel like. No one. <laughs> No one. They are just the best limited edition and it's such a fun thing to open a limited edition from ID Factory. Now it comes with an art book. Very beautiful, very pretty. I am so much enjoying art books. And the reason that I bought this game, again, is that I want to give it another chance. I feel so bad for talking bad about this game. But the thing is I haven't played it too much. So now I'm going to go properly into it, <laughs> give it a whole new chance and see if it really is that bad as I first said. It probably is, I don't know. But Yellow Super Nintendo, which is a YouTuber on this platform <laughs> that I feel like you should uh, follow, he said that he loves this game. And I trust his judgment and I'm like, what am I missing out on? If you love it and I don't, I want to also get on that ride. Steel case and music. Music! I thought it was cute. They do the best limited editions. I'm gonna play it. It's gonna be cute. So that was a random video on Isha Gaming. Uh, bought 
bought lately and played lately. I hope you want to watch some of my other videos right now. And um, have a new have a new year. <laughs> have a good new year still. Okay. I will see you later.